Mailbox Monday, coming at ya. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, welcome back if you have. Today is a Mailbox Monday where we go over everything that I got in the mail or I picked up over the week and uh, I show it to you. So here we go. First up, I got some more wires from DR Custom Wiring. Uh, Dustin and I are local to each other. Uh, we've become friends over the last year or so. Uh, he makes custom charge cables. I've shown these off before, but I got two more just because I have an HA, a high-tech X4 or whatever. I got a four channel or a four plug charger and I only had one, so now I have three. Um, I didn't want to take everything that he was taking um, whenever he went to Axial Fest, I think. One or the other. He had some on hand and uh, I sold him some parts. He gave me some wires, so we just kind of swapped and uh, it worked out for me, worked out for him, so we are both happy. Next! I actually put out a feeler on Facebook and I said, I have a whole lot of SR515 Spectrum receivers. I would like to trade a 515 for two 315s or 215s, etc., etc., however that works. Um, and this guy hit me up and said, I have three, so I sent him a 515 and a pair of landmines, and supposedly there are three receivers. There are three receivers in here. I got a 315, a 215, and another 215. For a pair of landmines I didn't want, and a 515 that uh, was excessive overkill for the amount of channels I really needed on a lot of trucks, I went ahead and swapped him, uh, which may seem crazy, but I have more trucks than I do receivers, and I have more trucks that need two and three channels than five channels, so I went ahead and got, a, got rid of a five channel, got three more, so now, instead of one truck to run, I have three that'll actually run, so super, super cool. Thank you, sir. Next! Next up was a gift to myself from Jordan, technically. Uh, I bought a 3D printer a couple months ago, and it is now starting to put out parts. We've made some foams, and we are now printing some body parts for me. So I got a bed extension for a short bed Chevy truck, the back of the cab, and the window. I also got the window template, but I think that's still in the car somewhere or something. I don't know. Anyway, I got that. Uh, my new printer is doing pretty well. We're still fine tuning some of the uh, options and stuff. I don't know. That's all Jordan. Jordan does things and I say yes or I find things on the internet and I say hey I need this printed and uh, at his disposal is a really nice printer as well. So it's a win-win for both of us I think. So that is what I got. Next! Next up I got some stuff and my bed spacer. This actually goes between the two parts. Um, so I also made a Vanquish order and I got some things. Um, <clears throat> basically I got one set of orange impacts because that's all they've had in stock for like the last three weeks. And I guess someone bought one for a six by six or a spare and they only have one pair left. So I bought one pair. So now I only need one pair whenever they come back in stock, whenever that is. Four of each size of servo horn. Uh, I've been selling a lot of stuff through my uh, deal with Vanquish. Um, becoming a dealer has been really awesome. And uh, I've been buying stuff and selling stuff to local people and selling things to people across the country. And uh, it has been working great. I thoroughly appreciate them. And uh, one of those things is servo horns. Uh, one of the guys locally is building four wheel steer buggies, I think, and he bought like 10 servo horns from me. Uh, so I had to replace all of the ones from my personal stash and my store stash. That way I had some on hand. So I got that. <clears throat> and then next up, uh, Jordan and I actually opened some Trucks of Freedom the other day. Uh, it was really hot out here and we couldn't make a video and I hope that you have seen that video so far. One of his scores were some gold impacts. Uh, I really like these wheels, and gold has been out of stock for a while now. And so these are actually going in my personal stash. So now I've added to my wheel collection, new impact going on, God only knows what in the future. Next! So first off, I got this ridiculously crazy colored uh, JL. 
Um, it looks pink. When you get it out in the sun, it has like this real weird orange kind of flare to it. So it's like a pinkish orange. Uh, but it does have all the plastics and it also has the interior and lights. So I said, that's pretty cool. And then I also had the option of buying this. This is a brand new impact clear body uh, that goes with this. So all the plastics and everything can go on here and then you've got a brand new JL, right? So then I saw this on the table. <clears throat> this is a Hilux. This is a SR5 Toyota cabin bed separately has the decals has the window masks everything i may end up using this uh it'll depend on if i can get it one more probably uh, then i will definitely use one and build a truggy for it and i think that will be super cool so now the creme de la creme or cream to the cream rises to the top macho man i don't know anyway the cream rise to the top oh yeah i am the cream the cream of the crop these guys here now if you've been doing this a while you know what these are you know how special this one is and this one's eh, usable somehow i don't know i'll figure it out i have had the urge to buy a nice ax10 scorpion for a couple months now so I found these on the table. I actually bought all these bodies for one money, gave them a pretty decent chunk of cash for them. I don't have the decal sheet or the window masks, but for what I paid for these, it really wasn't that bad. Um, so this one is cut out, does have the body holes, which I could probably match up on something. However, the bed is, uh, it's already cut out and that sucks. And we kind of talked about it, um, this one is would have been worth a lot more money if this was still here. Not sure what they were doing or what's gonna go on with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I may build like a little truggy cage and maybe I'll make a build out of it. I'm not sure. However, this one is brand new and uncut. Uh, and once I find an AX-10 that is nice and maybe has some nice green upgrades and stuff, this will go on it. And then I will need to find the decal sheet and the window decals. Before you start blowing me up, this is not for sale. Don't ask. I won't sell it. Um, everything else on my channel, usually there's a price for it. I'm not going to sell that because I actually want that. So, that is all for today. I appreciate you watching. As usual, check me out on Instagram and Facebook and the Facebook groups, Bullman Built RC across the board. And I will see you later. Bye! Yeah, on balance, off balance doesn't matter. Nobody does it better.